Hello, one and all. Thanks for uh, joining me here in another stream. So happy to have you all. Um, it's been a while. <laughs> it's It's been a long, long while. Uh, I think late August sometime was the last time that I had streamed. Um, it's, uh, it's about time. So I figured I'd just come back and yeah, we'll take it away. I'm gonna start actually, actually doing all of my, my painting stuff. Um, probably not all, but a good chunk. Hopefully most of it. Um, so right now on the table, I've got Grimbjorn. Uh, I got him pretty much mostly fleshed out. Uh, really took my time doing uh, his cloth, you can see there. Uh, did some skin, did the axe handle, made it look a little a little wood grainy. Uh, so I'm just gonna go through, do some hair, um, do his leathers, and that's pretty much it. Other than that, he's basically done. Uh, wasn't wasn't too much time put into him like I usually do, which has been super nice because I also ended up knocking out Bayorn uh, in bear form. Uh, and also Grim Bayorn in bear form, so getting the two major components of this army knocked out pretty quickly, which just felt really nice. Uh, my favorite part, and I was telling, telling Boone about this, is the inside of his mouth. Nobody's ever going to see this. Nobody's going to see those ridges, ever. But, you know, it's the little details that make me happy, so inside of his mouth is beautiful. <laughs> Rest of the model, I'll, uh, I'll let you all decide. Nice mouth, bro. Yeah, yeah, I know. Uh, make everything content, absolutely. Everything has to be content, right? That's that's just the way it goes. What uh, what are you guys up to out there? You uh, working or not really working now? Probably. Uh, now that you pulled up the stream. Ooh, yes, you should absolutely do some some uh, some streaming. Um, I think honestly, if we all could get our own little touches in on it, and then eventually have everybody start doing some stuff uh, together, I think we're gonna we're gonna be on a good roll then. Editing, editing, editing. It's the name of the game. Huh? Speaking of editing, uh, I got through a bunch of editing on our next video. Um, Probably not going to say what it is quite yet, but uh, we got a really, really fun one coming next. Continuous rants about never painting eyes. Well, I mean, you, you do what you got to do, right? <laughs> oh, these streams will 100% be repurposed. Um, I was talking about that with uh, the wifey, actually. Um, there's no reason to, to not be having these put up on our YouTube channel, so. Working on the website, all right. Website for whiteboard or for for Vantage? What are, what are, we, what are we doing there? Uh, first, we're gonna start in on these leathers here. Uh, I'm gonna try to do a little bit of glazing with some light brown on top of this real, real dark brown we've got going. Um, I'm gonna pop some of, pop some of this uh, Morn Fang onto my palette. Ooh, yes, that's a that's a great question, Ben. Uh, we need to come up with another date for that. Um, Friday, we actually have family get together um, that I didn't know when we planned this stuff out, and I don't think we knew either. So it was kind of a surprise, a surprise day. 
but I think I could do Saturday. No, we can't do Saturday. Probably do Monday if that works for you guys. Um, Was that day after Christmas, right? Saturday, I'll be drumming uh, that evening. Plus, we have um, my other side of the family. Uh, we do get togethers on Christmas Eve. So, I think my next available day is going to be. It's going to be Monday. Hey, you'll be singing. Heck yeah. Well, that'll be exciting. I'm assuming we're doing all Christmas songs, but I haven't really looked at the set list yet. I know it's not too many songs. <laughs> Yule and New Year's. Perfect. Yeah, I think let's, uh, let's plan on trying to do a uh, day after Christmas then, because we'll all have the day off for sure. Um, and then that way we can do a good amount of time on it if we want to. Just getting some glazing going in here, then we'll lighten this up even more. Ooh, B-Tech on Monday. Heck yeah. There seems to be a pretty good following for some Biotech at Shiv, so that's that's super cool. <clears throat> you might as well. You might as well be there. Yeah, absolutely. Show up. You can help out with different camera stuff, man. Producer Bond, exactly. Might as well take it off yeah, yeah, yeah well since technically you won't have christmas off then yeah you might as well because christmas is on a sunday so take the day off some glazing in here without touching everything else because I finished a lot of this guy. Probably should have done more of this harder stuff before I actually finished more skin elements and shirt stuff, but oh well, here we are. Who's showing up here? So we got a few more people in. Uh, just painting up a strat uh, middle earth strategy battle game figure. This is uh, Grim Bay Orn. He's fairly new. They added him in along with some of his people called the Bay Arnings. And uh, our next tournament that uh, we're going to is Tabletop Collective. This is who I'm going to take. The, uh, the two main heroes transform into bears. So. Sounded really fun, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take it. How could you forget about it when it's on the calendar? Come on, man. <laughs> well, 
Well, at least you figured it out now and not when we're waiting for you, so that's good. You gonna start up some like Battletech League or anything? Now that we've got more players in the area who are wanting to play. Um, I know a lot of games can do like Escalation League, Escalation style leagues, but is there anything like that for for Battletech? Or is it like Clan War style? Like, what exactly do you do for that? Would be really cool to try to get a few different uh, seasonal stuff going. I thought a lot about that recently. But maybe doing our own little escalation league for Star Wars or for Lord of the Rings, or um, shoot, even doing some sort of skirmish league or something for Star Wars would be really fun. Hey, what's up? The other part of Tabletop Collective is here. <laughs> Campaign like Escalation League. Yeah, that, that'd be cool. Let's come up with some sort of... Since I know it's more of like... Real world style game. I mean, take that with the most air quotes you can possibly do. Real world. But I know there's uh, factions. Maybe you can come up with some sort of like monetary yeah yeah exactly have to earn C yeah yeah, yeah. salvages come in yeah exactly yeah yeah, yeah. just what i was thinking new year's D, &D one shot i'd probably be in for that that sounds fun you know since we haven't been able to play any D, &D for a while <laughs> It has been far too long since we've played. <laughs> yeah, it's it's been a while. <laughs> I think it'd be fun. We could potentially record that. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so there's 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 already rules set in place for sort of an escalation for Biotech. That's pretty cool. Might be I might be down to do some of that. Um, I'm assuming that would be played more classic and not Alpha Strike style. Although you could probably do either, I'm sure. But if you want things to carry over from game to game, you're probably looking at more playing classic style. I'm assuming. Yeah, that, that's what I figured. It makes it makes sense to for it to be classic. You need a lot more depth in that way too, so totally. kind of funny i had no idea that you were even into that game one one minuscule until i don't even know who brought it up but then the starter box came in <laughs> and now we can't get away from it i mean i'm here for it don't get me wrong
just getting some glazing done on here. Slowly turning this almost black brown into a very lighter brown so we can start getting some maybe some scratches or something in here like it's warm weather. Grim, Grim Baron's been around for, for a bit. He's seen some things so he needs to be a little bit more warm I think. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you, Tim. I uh, I heard of it once, I think, and never even thought about giving it a second look. <laughs> it uh, it was being played, I think, the first tournament that Boot and I ever went to for Lord of the Rings. It was being played on a table, uh, like on the other side of the store, and uh, I remember hearing people furiously cheering when they when they rolled something specific which now that i know a little bit about the game i'm assuming they were cheering for like a, pi a pilot insta kill or uh, uh like maybe destroying some guns or i don't know probably a really really good roll on that table uh and i just remember so much cheering so i mean it seemed like it was kind of cool but I just got into Lord of the Rings. Uh, I've been in the Legion for a while. Boone had just picked up some historical stuff, so I was I was already way too in the weeds with too many games. Oh, I can imagine that that's that's a bit salt-inducing for sure, especially if it's on a, a heavier mech where you you need it to stick around for a while. <laughs> Uh, three or five hundred points for what? For what do you mean? Oh, for skirmish, uh, five hundred skirmishes for legions always always set at five. Normal normal game is played at eight hundred. Skirmishes are are set to five. Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. I said it right. In my head, I thought I said it backwards. Ooh, yes. Please bring the sweet bikes. I still think you should uh, take one of my extra Wookiees from my Fluttercraft and uh, make a, a, a Wookiee sweet bike. Because there's some extra pieces in that, right? Maybe hopefully enough to make another bike, just not a person to ride it. Little coffee, some nectar of the gods there. Extra heads and arms. Oh, so there's not any uh, extra bike parts. That's kind of a bummer. One sec here, let me check out some stuff. Got some messages going on. Yeah, I saw somebody converted a a Wookie Swoop biker, and it looked it looked awesome. There's also somebody I recently saw did like a, a Mad Max style suit bike. It looked really cool. Star Wars has been given a lot of extra pieces with some of their stuff. Like I know the the new IG-88 box uh, comes with enough it's like enough heads and arms for three maybe even four uh but no bodies kind of kind of annoying but kind of cool gives you some some kit bashing pieces which is just kind of cool creep 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 are you uh putting together a podcast or no you're 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 working working right 
That's okay. Glaze, glaze, glaze. Just about done with the glazes. It is a podcast. <laughs> uh, the podcasting life never ends, huh? satisfactory some, some leathers put in there might add some scratches like I said just to kind of make it look a little bit more worn but kind of has some some nice depth to it it's that real real dark deep kind of black brown and then also pops up to that lighter that morning brown I like it I dig it How's the, how's the sound, by the way? Mic level okay compared to the music? One you brought up or down? is crisp good I like to hear that I haven't touched it since the last time I streamed back in August so I'm glad it's still good stuff out of the way thanks for the follows um so very much appreciated uh like i said at the beginning of the stream i should be doing this quite a bit more um i don't know if i'm going to be able to get all of my paying sessions on but i'm going to try to do a real good a good amount of them you know i'm going to be painting anyway so um as well just invite you guys in on the journey as well for the time being it's gonna be a lot of bayornings uh, a lot of lord of the rings in preparation for my tournament uh coming up in february i realize there's a lot of time between now and then but i also get a lot of a lot of editing done for a channel here at tabletop collective uh so i gotta split time with that split time with being a dad and, and being a husband so it might take me the full two months to, to paint on my army <laughs> even though it's only what 20 excuse me 22 models could, could potentially take a bit um, i've got six of the bay awnings put together so they're ready they're next on the painting table as soon as i'm done with grim bay Orn here and bay Orn. Um, i got the bear forms done so that's that was a big one i mean they're massive bodies so I need to get those guys done and out of the way didn't take me nearly as long as I thought I was going to which is always a bonus but usually the models take me anywhere from three to five sessions depending on what the model is and how detailed it is but it took me one session per bear so that was really good this is the second time I've worked on Grim Bay Orn. so far things are progressing pretty smoothly you know what? I'll take it. Things things are things are moving quicker. Can't say anything bad about that. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, I uh, the nice thing about the Bayorning models is they do come with options. I think everybody's got either an option for uh, a great bow or their two-handed axe. Slash, some of them carry one-handed axes still, and then they all have two heads. So it's kind of the same boat as the, the IG-88s for Star Wars Legion. They give you extra pieces. So, 
I'm going to take that and create a mold at some point. Shh, don't tell anybody I'm going to create a mold. Uh, <laughs> and just make a couple more bodies. Because they only come in packs of three, and I need 20. So... I'm just going to mold it up, give myself a couple of bodies, and uh, use all the extra pieces. You know, try to be economical with what's given to me. And then also with that, try to switch up their body a little bit. I, I would love for it to be every model has its own unique... Uh, look to it i don't know if i'm going to be able to but so far out of the six i've built they're all built differently so no i could make it we'll see more glaze more glaze more glaze Was a little annoying glazing because I'm a very impatient painter and it always looks a little different when it goes on and then dries a lot darker. Always got to remember that when you're glazing. It's not always going to be as bright as it is when it comes off the brush. Boots. Probably should do some on the fur. I haven't really touched the fur yet. That's all just uh, prime still. Primed and dry brushed. What do they, what do they call them that? Slap chop. It's all slap chopped. Bears withdraw for, especially in the springtime, when they wake up from their hibernation, they gotta withdraw some of that fur. try to paint in a way where everybody can see so if I'm holding something not the right way or if my fat fingers are in the way it just holler at me I'll try to move accordingly <laughs> yeah uh, slap topping is I mean other than the name just being a really dumb it's it's very tabletop friendly uh, and I mean that as in it gets your guys on the board uh, real quick or at least theoretically real quick there's still there's still room for other things that makes it not very fast like I'm sure I would find I'd find some some time to try to fit other things in like you were saying uh, highlighting or making something stand out but yeah, it's, I mean, essentially, to get your guys tabletop ready as fast as you possibly can. Which is nice, uh, so that you can play with painted models, of course. Everybody loves playing with painted models. The Battlefield always looks a lot better like that. But it also kind of takes the joy away from painting. Um, it, it forces you to be in that mindset to just get in and get out. Which, uh, I don't know, depending on who it is maybe that's what they want and that's perfect for painter but i enjoy painting and i want to i want to take my time on models uh, 
Oh yeah, Mandos always get the display treatment for sure. Um, but yeah, yeah, like you say, unless that's what your style is, and that's what you like, then perfect. Slap Shop is for you. But uh, I enjoy taking my time on models and making them look all too perfect. And sometimes, that, sometimes I get in my own way with that. <laughs> I don't have people ready for tournaments or something. But that, that's just my that's my prerogative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, that that's that's kind of my take too. I, I'm it's it's not a knock on anybody. If you just want something that looks good from six feet away, or three feet away, whatever that saying is, then awesome. That's great. Uh, I just like having them more detailed on my guys, and that's totally cool. That's that's the beauty of this hobby. Is it's all in the eyes of the beholder. Take, for example, this. Uh, a lot of people probably wouldn't put this much time into doing the boots, and they'd probably call it good after that last step. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't, and I try to push it one step further. It all just depends on, on the painter. And that's A-OK. -okay. And sometimes I do things that I know nobody's ever going to see, like the roof of the bear's mouth. <laughs> but in my heart, I know it's there. So to me, it makes that paint job 20 times better. Oh, is it really? Oh, that's fantastic. Uh, I just picked this off of uh, a royalty-free place and copy-pasted, so. I can't remember if this is from White Bat. Uh, I'm sure it is, if it's the same song, but they got some good some good tunes. Okay, let's uh I think I'm gonna go with a gray style pelt. Kinda like how it is already. Um so Thankfully, because it's already primed, excuse me, in a lighter gray, and then dry brush with a lighter gray, and dry brush with lighter gray, and then dry brush with a white. I'm just gonna take some contrast, slap it over, and we'll see if that looks good. Uh, should be pretty close to where I want it. If not, I'll just do a little bit of highlighting. this black all over everything. <laughs> uh, I guess you could say that I am uh, slap chopping. I'm, I'm currently slapping that chop. Um, I think I, I ended up dry brushing this probably two more times than what is on like a regular slap chop. Not like that really matters. Same idea. It's just a uh, super and crazy Zenothal. Uh, I'm doing his uh, little fur pelt that he's got on his shoulders here. Uh, yeah, basically it's it, it's an enhanced slap cup. I 
hate that it's called slop chop because it has nothing to do with slop chops. I'm just gonna take some of this black templar, pull it off some spots. See if it creates the desired effect. You can love my nuts. I guarantee it. Did that guy even go into jail? I don't remember seeing much after him or from him after the slap chop stuff. I know the main, the main television sellers passed. Rest in peace. I can't think of his name now. Uh oh. Uh oh. He beat an actual hoe. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that's not good. He got arrested for slapping that chop, huh? It's a shame. It's a real shame. Billy Mays! Got him! Gosh, I knew I could think of the name. Probably didn't apply it correctly, but I don't like the way that contrast looks on top. It really toned down all the highlights I had put in there. So we're gonna real quickly just kind of go over everything with a light little overbrush slash dry brush. Because I really want that to stay kind of a grayish, a darker pelt color. But not black. Put this away. I'm done with that. Oh, let's see. We got a nice little cool gray here. Mix a little bit of black into it. And just kind of go one by one over each little piece here. I don't ever really use contrast paints that much, so I'm sure there's some sort of technique or something that I'm not doing correctly with them. I'm very much a, a tried and true layer style, layer highlighter painter. Con yeah, contrast through an airbrush looks amazing. I've seen it multiple times. I've done it a couple of times. Uh, I did it with all the Rohan, the Palisades, and the houses that I did. Uh, and it's it's amazing. It is super, super good through an airbrush. And the nice thing is, is you can just put it straight in. You don't even really need to water it down. Uh, maybe just a couple of drops of airbrush thinner or something. Uh, but for the most part, you can just slap it in and it, it comes out really smoothly. Go back over a couple of these pieces here. Do a little bit more. I'm going to add a lighter gray on top.
Yeah, yeah, and I'm sure I probably have too much on the brush, you know, attacking a certain area like that. I'm I'm 100% certain it's all operator error. You know, I'm I'm not blaming contrast at all because I've seen some really really awesome stuff made with just contrast paints. So I need to. I gotta practice. I gotta get better at that stuff. Especially if I've got a commission to do and they want it done fairly fast. I've got to be able to work a little quicker. And contrast paints. Not under my use. But supposedly are much better at that. <laughs> I just got to learn how to use them effectively. <clears throat> One day. One day I will. I just realized uh, I kind of have like a black pelt here on Grim Bayorn uh, over his shoulders and uh, I painted his father Bayorn as a black bear in his bear form so uh, got him kind of wearing his dad's pelt here oops maybe maybe it's an it's an homage to his dad That's, we'll say that He's wearing a, a black bear pelt in in respect. Not ever go back on a stroke. Yeah, that that definitely seems like that's the case. It's just a, it's a one time stroke over the whole thing, and then yeah, let it settle. Yep, basically what sounds good. <laughs> Just a little bit of white over the top of this. <clears throat> Do some ivory over it. A little, little off-white, just in a couple of spots. picking it up I'm sure it's not but hopefully for you guys it's sake it is uh, my dog is sleeping under my bed behind me and she's snoring up a storm she is she's found her happy place <clears throat> all right drive safe my dude Thanks for thanks for joining me. And I'll probably see you in a little bit. Yeah, I've got a little bit of black here on the skin, so I'm just gonna touch this up. You know, it's in a it's in a spot that you probably won't see, but like I said before, I'll see it and I'll know it's there, so. I'm what some may call a perfectionist. <clears throat> All right, coming along pretty nicely. Don't think I'm gonna touch his pants much more. Uh, they can stay kind of a nice darker color in contrast to his shirt here. Uh, the boots maybe go up one more color there that kind of matching his jacket a little bit too much um, and uh, we're done with his pelt good there 
yeah, he's, he's coming along. Uh, these little bracelets, I guess. I don't know what else they would be. Probably going to do them a silver. Maybe like silver, a silver, and a copper since there's two on this wrist. And then, uh, like I said, I might be adding some scratches in on the leather. But other than that, he's, he's looking pretty good. Pretty, pretty done. The axe head, I debated whether or not to just leave it as it is there. Uh, again, that's just Zenith all primed and dry brushed up, so it looks really cool, with, I think, uh, in, in compared to everything else. Uh, but I might just do some basic silvers over that and try a little bit of TMM or something. But yeah, Grim Bjorn's, he's getting he's getting done. Might be probably the fastest I've ever painted a hero. Um, I think altogether this will be about an hour and a half or so. Let's see, because I've been going on here about 45-ish minutes. I didn't get right on at 1 o'clock. neglected his hair so we're gonna do that real fast also I debated putting on tattoos on his his skull I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that or not just do some some cool like side head tats Just lightening up a few pieces of his hair here. Just to give it a little bit of depth and dimension. Don't want to do everything. Really going to mainly focus on the front of the hairline here. So try to make it semi realistic. When you're looking at somebody's head, the sun shining down on them, really the shine comes off of uh, the front, right at the hairline. A couple of pieces back here, like just behind, like the crown of the head there. Um, that's really it. You ever pay attention to, to hair? It's not like the entire head is shining, you know? I don't want to make it look like spaghetti, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna highlight like spaghetti. <laughs> you touch must be good. So very excited to get these guys in a game, an actual game. Played one practice match with them, but I didn't even use. I think I used one one bear. The other one I had to use a a fell beast as the bear. So it would be really, really fun to actually get them in our game. Get the bears rolling. So lighten up the hairline here. Keep 
Maybe by doing his beard. Mustache. Yes, sir. Oh, it's for a friend's belt. Uh oh. How do we do that? to be kind of a black leather so since it's got oops sorry just bumping my camera uh since he's got kind of a white on the outside of the belt i think i'm just gonna put a little kind of strip of black right down the middle of it and hopefully we can make this look like it's just a highlighted black down that zenith hole just ever so slightly. So let me go back over his big belt here, a little bit darker in the middle, to make it stand out from his jacket, just a hair. Over just the lightest part of his boots here. on the barn here anytime. Just a couple of little touch up things to do on Grim Bayorn and he's he's ready to hit the battlefield. Um kind of thought about what I want to do basing wise. For my foot troops I'll probably just do some sort of basic grassland style 
uh, basing, but my bears, I want to make it look like they're in a creek or a river or something, kind of looking for their fish. So I'm going to do some resin. We're going to do a nice little resin pour around them to kind of give that effect that they're, they're just in a river, just hanging out, looking, looking for some foods. Especially, especially Bayard. I mean, he's already got that the swipe kind of going on, like he's getting ready to swat a fish down. So, you know, you gotta gotta give him a little fish to eat. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna grab some metallics here. ties he's got uh he's got little ties to hold his shirt together because he's currently busting out of his shirt so let's uh let's paint that twine real fast strings hmm. let's use this Strings holding the shirt together. Like I'm pretty, pretty close to being finished. I think I can dig them. Of course, this camera only makes it look so good, but oh well, we'll get some good, some good shots and post it up on our on our uh, YouTube page, Facebook page, you know, anywhere you can find Tabletop Collective. Um, we recently just did a little, I guess you can call it a photo shoot, Boone and I took care of a lot of the stuff that we have been needing to take pictures of, we just haven't done it. <laughs> so, we've got a lot of stuff we can post. Super, super excited. Really, really good up close shots. Just things that make everything look a lot better. 
actual lighting. It looks crisp. Do the uh, axe head here. Um, I kind of debated on whether or not I was going to do anything with it, but I think I kind of want to just to really cement it into actually looking like metal and not just kind of gray with white dry brush. So I'm going to take a little bit of lead belcher, blacken it up just a touch. And glue it down. Inside here, just a little darker. Not as much light kind of hits and penetrates them down here. Just lead belcher. Uh, see if I can get some of these edges brought back up. I'm gonna go over this axe head edge right here. We need some here. And I'll just do my own little take on true metallic here. And we get some canoptic out of the way. It's even lighter. Kind of go over the same areas. A little less of the same areas. Just kind of give it that illusion of shinies. Don't do too much on the inside. It's not a lot of light hidden here, so I don't want to bring a bunch of attention in there. Not to go over here. 
I'm gonna top it all off. I'm just gonna go with some Storm Plus Silver. this back down just a touch here. Shake these batocks real hard here. <laughs> Just do our final, last little kind of extreme highlight of the storm host. Just to really make the edges pop. Sharp. That's done. Do the bracelets real fast. Like I said, I think I'm gonna do two silver, maybe one kind of a bronzish copper color. So thank you all again for joining. Um, I've been doing this a lot more often now. Um, pretty much any time I'm gonna sit down and paint, I'll uh, try to pop open the stream. More than welcome to join in, gonna hang out, just chill. It's never gonna be anything loud and ruckusy, I guess. <laughs> We're just looking for that second screen content, man. That's, that's all I'm looking for. Let me be the stuff that's in the background. I'm totally cool with that.
Alright, one bracelet down. It's a bit more difficult than I thought it was going to be. Here we go. Just the bottom one. I'm gonna go back over the top, so this doesn't really matter if I get silver on the top one or not. Well, I'm gonna happen. Decide to come up here and say hi. Well, I'm not getting too much silver on the skin, so I'll call this a win. Silver paint everywhere. This is fun. See if we can just bronze one of these bracelets. <laughs> uh, from the top. Oh, well, there's a little skin retouch we need to do. Not much on the skin. Count it as a win. Back to a little bit of skin retouch. Thankfully it's not much. Alright. 
pretty good. I think um, we might be able to call him good. Probably go back through and do those crashes on the leather like I talked about earlier. But I think for the most part, Grimbjorn's like done, done. Feel good about it. I think it looks good. Yeah. So let's move on to his his daddy o. And with him, it's just a bunch of skin. That's really all it is. <laughs> he, uh, he's got his pants and some boots and then just skin. He's... That's it. That's the whole story. <laughs> skin. So... Let me uh, pull up some reference pictures here real fast. I don't know about any of you guys, but I almost always paint with reference pictures. Uh, it just kind of helps me out. Make sure I stay kind of on task and painting what I want to paint. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay. So I'll start with some darker skin color. I like to use a little Bugman's Glow as my, my base. Um, I might mix in something a little bit darker. Especially for the recesses. And by the recesses, I just mean kind of his, his midsection down here. His underarms. Basically all the spots where it's kind of blackened. Fine job here. So that's all stuff that is not really going to be seen. Because all the attention is going to be drawn to his axe, his face, which kind of got jacked up. Uh, I just now noticing that it looks like his nose got chopped. So I probably should have uh, maybe green stuff that before I climbed, but you know. Yeah. Looks like he has a, a skeletal face. <laughs> yeah. Always interesting to see putting down these first layers where the color starts from, where it goes. This is kind of a, a purpley pink, really. And then uh, it ends up looking like skin here in just a few layers. It's really cool. Hooray for layering. some underneath his chin here and we'll move on to a little bit brighter color. Get something on the neck underneath all that hair.
There's a somebody on Facebook I saw. One of the many many groups that I'm in. I believe his name is like it's like Gan Ganyalf Painting Studios. Uh, it's kind of where I'm drawing a lot of my inspiration for Grim Bayorn and Bayorn. Uh, he did a fantastic job with these. Especially the bears, and that's kind of where I'm getting my, my resin idea from for the bases. Uh, it really makes them stand out, it really makes them pop. And so what he did was he made little like Chinook salmon to go on their bases. And then also did some bees because uh, they like honey, I guess. I mean, of course, these guys are bears, so duh, bears like honey. But I mean, the Bay Arnings themselves. The Arnings, I guess, are a big, big fan of, uh, of honey. And so he made little bees deal with them. Don't think I'll be doing that. That's a lot of work. A lot of very small, detailed work. <laughs> Not super cut up for that. We'll see. Maybe I will. I really like the idea. It's fun. Again, sorry if I start kind of getting off screen a little bit. Do my best to kind of stay centered and stay here. But... Due to the setup that I have, I have to kind of sit a little further away. And so slowly and slowly I'm just drawing the model back to me, back to me, back to me. <laughs> and just not keeping it out where I should be. So I apologize if it gets off screen. side so I go over it with some with a little bit lighter kind of kids love flesh kind of the lightest I like to go um, I mix a little bit of maybe kind of tannish brown into it we'll see let me play around you know, there's there's no mistakes, as my friend Bob Ross likes to say. It's all just happy accidents. Can't forget about his face. Sure has a little skeletal vibe going to it. I wish I would have done that before I primed it. I would have done something to help fix it. Oh well, here we are. Can't always be perfect, right? Just most of the time, it can be perfect. <laughs> Primarily be glazing with all the skin tones. So you have to remember it looks a lot lighter when it's on there than when it dries. It's a lot lighter.
kink side. I think uh, go up another shade and see how it looks after that, and then kind of make some decisions to see if I want to mix in something to de-pinkify him. He'll start turning around though, and start looking a bit more like skin. I will say though, this model is going to go a lot faster because it's primarily skin. <laughs> well, that'd be nice to get a couple of heroes done, fully fleshed out, no pun intended, um, in just a matter of a few hours. So now with this lighter shade, I really want to start picking out some of the musculature, specific muscles, and start making them pop a lot more. Jack dude so there's, there's lots of lots of muscle popping happening here Maybe I won't, uh, I won't need to add any tan in with, with the, the lighter colors we're going with here. It's already starting to make it look a lot less pink. As soon as we get these guys painted up and some of the video earnings, we'll, uh, we'll put that report up on our YouTube channel with, with the bears. Make it official. Welcome them to the, the family of Tabletop Collective. Just a little bit with them as I'm skating by, but that's that's all right. We can go back over the pants again. Touch that stuff up. And now I'm just focused on getting some skin done.
face here. Open up his forehead. Oh, this nose is just killing me. Well, I guess lack of nose, really. I'm not really sure how I'm going to deal with that while I'm painting. Can't really superimpose the nose with highlights. <laughs> I try my best, but I don't know if that's going to happen or not. All right. We'll go the next shade up. Thin that down far enough. Get this glaze and you really want to thin stuff down so it's not just globbing over the top of everything. Might uh, paint in some individual hairs on him. He's a pretty hairy guy, so maybe we'll further that hairiness and just kind of put some paint some single hairs. You know, cross his arms right here, make some hairy arms, get some hairy chest vibes going. Cause why not? Let's have some fun with it. Not entirely sure what this is here in the back. I don't know if you can kind of see that, but it's uh, it's almost like a hole in his skin. Maybe I just got a really bad cast. Uh, yeah, there's that, and then kind of these little swipey marks here. So maybe it's meant to be like war torn skin. But I don't remember him having battle wounds. It would totally make sense if it did. I mean, he turns into a bear for goodness sakes. All right, nice little eight pack in here. Give him those side abs. Skin's starting to kind of come together here. Let me 
just like with Grand Bayon, it's just lots of blazing. I go in the same areas multiple, multiple times. If you're not a patient painter, this definitely isn't the way to go. <laughs> I won't say that. One more step up. Do kind of our final highlights here. Actually, I'm gonna go across the face one more time with this, just to brighten it up just a little touch more. It's not really on camera. I apologize. Glaze, 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 glaze until we drop. This is going to be kind of our most extreme highlight. So I kind of only want to pick out the highest raised. Forearm, bicep, his tricep, top of the shoulder. Much and I'm just kind of wipe it away. Okay. 
so I'm kind of okay with getting it on its pants. We can go back over that and fix those errors. That's totally okay. Sometimes you're just kind of at the mercy of the sculpt, and um, this one was not casted very well, so it's got some divots and ridges. I tried smoothing it out as best as I could before I started painting, but sometimes you can only do so much for these things. That's just the way the cookie crumbles, and that's all right. It adds character to these guys. his finger back here so let's take care of that smooth out some of these transitions here. Make it not so blotchy between some of them. Overall it's not too bad. Just don't want it to be glaring. And that's his skin. It's skin basically done. It means over half the model's done. <laughs> uh, gotta love it. Gotta love it. Uh, I might go back in, do some shading in his uh, his gut region. Uh, actually give him some abs up in there. Come back and I'll highlight the pants. We'll highlight some boots. Get some eyes put in those sockets. Uh, Get the hair done. Shouldn't be shouldn't be too too much longer, and we'll have this guy done. But for now, 
I'm going to call that a, a, a session. Um, been going for about an hour and 40, an hour 45. Uh, I'll probably keep these to about a couple hours at a time. And then um, if you miss it, no big deal. We'll catch you on Facebook. Uh, I'm going to upload all this stuff to Facebook. Or it's not Facebook, sorry. Facebook, I'll let you know that I'm streaming. Um, YouTube is where we'll be having them all going. We'll upload them all there. Uh, we'll just start creating a nice little backlog of just kind of chill hangout sessions. Um, you guys can pull it up. Watch it while you paint. Uh, watch it while you do any of the other hobby stuff. I'll just have it on in the background. Kind of... It'll be the new office for everybody. Because <laughs> that's what the office was for me and a lot of people that I know. So it'll, it'll be... It'll be the new office. Um, but yeah, thanks all for joining. Uh, I'll probably be back later tonight. I might do some more streaming. We'll finish up Bayorn. Um, I've got lots and lots of other stuff on the painting table I need to get done. So we're not short in things to do. Uh, mainly getting some Infinity models. I really want to get this guy painted up. Uh, he's part of the Shots Vosti. Uh, that's probably the army that I'm going to go with whenever we get around to it. Um, but yeah, got that. We've got uh, a little a little pilot for him. Also part of the same army. Uh, got some Legion stuff we need to do. So there's plenty of things to do. Uh, but yeah, like I said, thanks for joining. Make sure to check out the YouTube channel. Um, come back here. I'll uh, let you all know when we start streaming again. Thanks for joining.